Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford vehicle. Could be any Ford with gasoline or diesel engine. If you need to test MAF sensor, this is the manifold, uh, uh, the mass airflow sensor, mass airflow or abbreviated MAF, M-A-F. Uh, sensor stay with us we'll explain how to do it it takes you less than a minute or two you will not need to take anything apart practically you will be sitting in the driver's seat and you will be able to test it so make sure to stay until the end we'll explain how to do that before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you and if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools supplies from and you can save a ton of money so next in order to test the mass sensor the mass airflow sensor on that ford we need to find the obd port every ford uh, from year 1996 up will have one uh, you will connect it guys this is the scanner that we'll be using it's really cheap it's so good so uh helpful that i always keep one of those in my glove box i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from uh we'll go ahead turn the ignition switch on without starting the car make sure your car battery is charged we're going to select obd here it's loading now it will just take a little bit a little bit of time you will see now here codes found we have one problem okay one code so let's see what that problem indicates uh, we're going to uh, select engine computer and you can go to read codes and find out stored codes pending codes random misfire detected guys okay that could be due to a vacuum leak as well multiple things can detect uh, misfires okay we have a special video how to fix code p0300 so we're going to go back and select live data that's what we need and under live data guys it's loading now it's going to access every parameter in your ford vehicle okay so on your engine practically you can read mass airflow sensor map intake air temperature sensor misfires uh, um, you can actually guys check the uh, ignition advance and all that stuff uh, things that can save you quite a bit of headache guys so we're going to click view data complete data set you can select units of measure if they're different now that will be the time to start your car i'll start it if you guys have a uh, regular car just start it if you have a hybrid or plug-in hybrid select the ev option for later the electric vehicle option make sure the emergency brake is on in park and give it gas on a hybrid on non-hybrid you don't have to do that it will just start now this is the coolant temperature right here 161 if i scroll down you're going to see that right here we have the MAF sensor pounds per second how much air okay is it it's using here now okay so now pounds per second it's not very accurate reading guys okay what i recommend okay go to units of measure and select the metric because grams is way more responsive click complete data set go to the map sensor and you will see when i hold steady rpms at 1100 1200 rpms it's using about 3.6 to 4, 4 grams of air per second when i rev it up check out this number will go up and that number will start going up as well okay to seven i can select the map sensor here and if i select it i hold lower rpms it will hold it around okay right now at around four grams per second if i rev the engine up it will go to seven grams eight grams i let off the gas it will go down i press gas again it goes up so you can see how responsive it is that's a good map map sensor it needs to be very responsive the moment you press the gas pedal it needs to go up when you release the gas pedal it needs to go down uh, if it's bad it will not be responsive it will be slow or what it can happen it can actually guys uh, be stuck at one number as well so that's how we test the map sensor on forward hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time